guys, I'm Mar, and today I'm wearing no makeup because I'm gonna be doing my makeup in three different ways. I'm gonna be doing it in 20 seconds, two minutes, and two hours, and we're gonna see, I guess, the difference. I'm really nervous because I don't know how to do my makeup for two hours, you guys, so it's weird. I feel like I should be struggling more with the 20 seconds, but I feel like I'm gonna struggle more with the two hours, and that's why I want to show you guys my bare face right now. Ow, that, okay, that hurt. Ow. Also, in today's video, I'm gonna be using a whole bunch of Kajou products. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, you know I've been using them a ton. Especially, I've been getting a lot of questions about this roller glow because I've been using it a lot, as you guys can see. But they have so many cute things, you guys. Like, their little bento shadows. I, I mean, this one I used. When was it that I used it? I posted a tutorial with it on my Instagram. Oh, and then I also used the yellow one in another tutorial. I know I've been using them a ton, but they're so cute. Anyway, this video is probably going to be pretty long, so I'm going to... Stop talking. All right, you guys, so the first look we're gonna do is the 20 second makeup. And for 20 seconds, I think all I can do is really like maybe sunscreen on my face. I was thinking of doing a brow, but I don't think I have time to do a brow. So maybe concealer, I will, I think I'll have time for concealer. All right, time starts now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use, I feel like the less I talk, the better. Oh my God. Ah, half the time is already gone and I only did, okay, okay. Um. For sure, no concealer. Um, I'm gonna do this. Oh, this product is so cute. <gasps> oh my god! That. <laughs> this is my 20 second makeup look. <laughs> Literally no makeup. I don't even think I got this on my lip. <gasps> I got it all over the place. It's all over my face. Ah. Okay, that was a complete fail. <laughs> 20 seconds for sure, not enough to do your makeup. Now I'm gonna try for two minutes. And time starts now. I'm gonna do concealer and i really want to do a shadow i feel like i'm being a bit too calm okay just a bit of concealer and the bento shadows come in so many colors they actually just added colors i think i'm gonna use the glowing guava one this it's like cute and pink kind of goes with my outfit i really like that these shadows always have like a shimmery one. Oh my god this one doesn't have a top one that's shimmery what i've been betrayed okay so i'm just gonna use the chocolate dahlia oh okay this really messed me up so the chocolate dahlia does have this like <gasps> shimmer god that really set me behind <gasps> no no oh my god i got it on my under eye okay okay that really kind of set me back no oh my gosh I feel like I could have had time to do my brow. Also, if I would have been smart and set this out. Maybe I'll just comb my brow. Just fill it in a little bit. I have like 10 more seconds to go. Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, um, that was the end of my time. Uh, I could have done better had I not gotten confused. Because there was another shade. What was the other color? Oh, there's so many of these and they're so pretty. Well, this is what my makeup looks like in two minutes. And I'm going to take this off and we're going to start with two hours. I'm excited because now I'm like, okay, I want to do my makeup. Finally, I'm going to have time. All right, guys. So I took my makeup off and now I have two hours to do it. So I better be looking snatched after this. And I'm going to be using the Kaja Bento shadows and look see I told you there were so many colors I don't even know if I have all of them they're so freaking cute I can just stack them up ah! look at that they're so adorable I don't even know which one I should use all right guys so look at this little bento this is hella azalea so all these bentos have three shades in them look at this they're super bouncy they have that cream to powder they have a mirror also and they're super easy to apply just with your finger you can also use a brush but you guys saw how i just did that shimmery one with the finger when i was doing my two minute makeup oh my god i love this so i'm gonna start my makeup guys i'm gonna start by priming my eyes and i'm gonna try and take up the whole two hours but i feel like with these shadows my eye makeup is gonna be done pretty quickly because they just go on really smoothly i have a lot of pink ones so i feel like i might just like mix all of these let me see this one's sparkly rose look at this color <gasps> so pretty look at this one you guys it's rose water and it has all shimmers <gasps> die sorry I just had to stick my finger in the <gasps> so smooth and beautiful okay okay i feel like i'm just gonna spend the whole two hours talking about my shadows so i'm gonna use like this middle shade from hella azalea to start my makeup and i'm just gonna use uh, this fluffy brush i kind of want to use this color all over the lid i don't know it's so pretty yeah and look i'm using a fluffy brush and it's still looking crazy pigmented 
By the way, you guys, I'm obviously gonna edit this down. Well, I'm sure you guys can already tell because this video isn't two hours long. <laughs> This looks just on its own, but I feel like I want to layer some shimmer over it. I love that. I'm gonna do my brows right now because I was so eager to get my shadow on that I didn't even realize. I like doing my brows first, usually. The nice thing is that I can really take my time with every step. Although, almost like too much time. <laughs> Alright, so my brows are on and I'm actually gonna jump onto my foundation. I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever HD foundation. Ooh, like, oh my god. <laughs> You know what? No rush. I'm trying to take my time because literally I don't know how I'm gonna do my makeup for two hours. I just feel like I don't have the patience for it. And also the look that I want to do is just really simple for my eyes because I could see how it would take you two hours if you're doing something really crazy on your eyes. But this shadow just looks so beautiful on its own. Oh no! I forgot to prime my face! Guys, and then I want to use this primer because it's so cool. Look at it. It's like a foam. Oh, it's so cute. Well, I guess I'll prime my arm. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. I totally forgot to prime my face. Great. <laughs> Guys, I'm such a failure. I think this sponge isn't wet enough, so I'm gonna go wet it. It'll be like a good three minutes at least. <laughs> okay, here we go. I feel like this is enough foundation, but also I feel like I'm gonna do a little more just because I have so much time. <laughs> I feel like the makeup needs to look like really extra. I'm gonna do my ears. Bring it all the way down. Ooh, let me moisturize. Slowly moisturize. Okay, that's not really slow. Mm. I'm gonna do some concealer, but I'm also gonna do an under eye brightener. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done an under eye brightener. This concealer is the Don't Settle Concealer by Kaja. Oh, ooh, and also I need to do it around my brows. I'm gonna have an Instagram moment. Concealer around the brows and everything. All right, guys, I'm gonna do my brow concealer. This has this applicator that's kind of to the side. I feel like it's perfect. Oh, I kind of added more than I thought it would. Okay. <laughs> One moment, please. I'm just gonna clean up this brow. You know what? I don't even know why I'm worrying about my makeup taking me two hours because I decided I'm gonna do false lashes and that's probably gonna take me an hour and a half just to stick those on. All right, so I'm blending this. Snatch that brow, yes. I feel like I really ended up messing up the brow. <laughs> I shouldn't have even touched it. It was looking good already. I was just trying to overdo it. And look, this is what I get. It looks weird now. because. I got concealer on the hair. Ugh. I'm gonna set that. Ugh. You know what? I probably shouldn't set the brow. I feel like my brows are not looking great yet. I still have two hours to fix that. I'm gonna contour. And I've been using this kind of lighter contour. It's actually not light, but it's a lot lighter than what I have been using before. I feel like I'm a little bit like in my head, like, oh, it has to turn out so good just because I'm gonna take a long time on it. But to be honest, you guys, I feel like there's some really cool looks that take 20 minutes. All right, I'm gonna use my under eye brightener right now. It's called Catnap. It's like I took a cat nap, a nap. Oh, 
Whoa, that really looks a lot better. <laughs> I'm shook. Oh, okay, I also forgot to contour my nose. So I will for sure be contouring that. I don't really ever contour my nose, but since we're here, might as well. And I'm gonna start baking, get that oven going. I'll start with my under eye. Basically what I'm trying to do is every single makeup step, but ironically, I completely forgot to prime, which is such an important step, you guys. Ready. <laughs> I'm also gonna powder my T-zone with Look at me blowing. It's like, how am I supposed to get my face while I'm blowing down? I'm like trying to get this part of my head. All right, so I'm gonna use some powder bronzer and this is the NARS Laguna. And I'm just gonna really take my time with blending because I feel that sometimes I don't really blend well enough. I just like really put it on quickly and I just move on. I blended that and now I'm gonna do my nose. I never like to do my nose too strong, even though I really don't do it a lot. When I do it, I don't like it to just look too contoured. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have done a cut crease. That will probably take some time. Mm, I think I can still do it. All right, so I'm gonna take that don't settle concealer. I'm just gonna go on the center of my eyes. Well, I should do one eye at a time. I'm just so used to kind of rushing through everything. That's just, I'm doing what I do every time. I really should not have put the color all over the lid if I was planning on doing this, but oh well. I'm gonna do a bit more concealer now. Oh, that looks cute. I'm trying to do like a little kind of like wider at the top. Just thought that would look pretty. All right, so I'm gonna start. I don't know what color. I love this color right here, but also it's so difficult, you guys. I'm gonna do first this sparkling rose number four. I'm gonna start with this. And you know what? I'm actually, no. I was, ooh, what to do? I was gonna use my finger, but maybe I'll just take, I'm gonna take this small brush right here. So pretty. That colors everything. Really, with your fingers, it's so fast. I'm just gonna kind of layer this. I'm gonna layer different shimmers. All right, that looks super cute. And then I'm going to do this middle color from Rose Water. I'm actually gonna use the other side of this brush. I'm gonna pop that. Ooh, that looks so pretty. I'm gonna take that matte bright pink again. I'm gonna just kind of blend. I feel like I'm having a bit of a hard time getting into this inner corner with this thick brush though. Ooh, I love this color. You guys, I love wearing pink on my eyes. Do you guys like to wear pink on your eyes? Or is it just me? Because I think it looks so pretty. All right, now I'm gonna use this Smashbox liner and it's a purple, dark purple. I'm just gonna do this outer bottom part to add a bit of depth, but honestly, just the tiniest bit, just like that. And now I'm gonna go in again with the bright pink and just connect this bottom, just like the bottom third of the eye. I'm gonna deepen that up with this kind of purple color that's also on the Hello Azalea Bento Trio. Right now, I'm actually gonna stop 
baking because I feel like if not, I can get like a really white line there and it looks a little bit weird. All right, so for the bottom, I'm gonna take this middle shape from Sparkling Rose. It's so pretty. It's like a kind of like purple glitter. So beautiful. And I'm gonna do the whole under eye, but I'm gonna leave out the inner corner. some extra time i'm gonna take some of this powder and this little itsy baby sponge i'm just gonna like draw this line under here so it's really sharp on the corner of my eye and that also kind of gives that illusion that my eye is even more lifted like for the inner corner i'm gonna take the lightest color on rose water and it's kind of like this oh my god i took way too much <laughs> it's like um pinky whitish so pretty I'm going really light on it because it's crazy pigmented. And I'm doing it mostly on the bottom part of my inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna clean that up, but first I'm also gonna add some of that same lighter shade right on the middle again. So I have the three shimmery shades here. And I'm just gonna add a bit. It's time for lashes. So first I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna put some mascara and then I'm gonna do falsies, which you know takes forever. I'm gonna use this um Kiara Lancome mascara. Look at it, it's so cute. Alright, so I stuck two lashes together and made this eyelash. Now I'm gonna stick this eyelash onto my eyeball. <laughs> Okay, those are on. Oh god, I struggle. The struggle is super real. But now I'm gonna do the bottom lashes and I'm gonna use the same mascara that I was using before. Okay, now I'm gonna do my cheeks. Did I already put, I was gonna put this bronzer on because it has a bit of shimmer. Okay, if I did, it doesn't matter. I'll just put some more on. And if I didn't, I'll put some more on. <laughs> That's the secret, more and more. And more. So now I'm gonna use this cheek stamp, and I love this cheek stamp so much. It's so cute. Basically, it's literally a stamp. You just put blush on it. Okay, I messed that one up. It's a heart. It's heart shaped. Okay, there you can see the heart more. It's so cute. You guys have probably seen me using this on Instagram, and I love it. It's all a little compact. It comes in different shades, and it's so cute. And then you just kind of like blend it in. I don't want to make my cheeks too pink right now though because I already have a lot of pink on my eyes. So I'm just kind of blending this in and then we're gonna highlight. I did kind of want to use the Mochi Pop. I'm gonna use just a little bit of atmosphere. Just like a tiny, tiny bit right here. All right, so for highlight, I'm gonna use the Roller Glow, and this is super cute. You can use it kind of like you're painting or something, but I feel like it's even better if you just use your finger. So, oh my God, I got it all over my nail. You guys know I'm not used to having long nails, so. All right, so I'm just gonna, woo, look at that. This highlight is so beautiful. It's one of my favorites. And the color, it's just such a pretty like pinky champagne color. I think it's beautiful. There you can see the hole my nail made. Whoops. So again, just with the finger, it kind of warms it up. I love it. But I also want to use the Kaja Mochi Glow. And this one is the shade Toy Alien. And I'm going to put this on my nose right here, right on the bridge. Also on the tip of my nose. Maybe I'll add a bit. No, you know what? No. I'm going to do a bit of Luna. It's kind of like a more champagne color. And I'm going to layer my highlights. 
Okay, guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like I've slightly overdone it, especially with the highlight. I just feel like I'm like all shimmery, but all right, I don't know. So I'm gonna do the lipstick and there's a lip liner lipstick combo. So it has lip liner on this side and lipstick on this side, which is so useful, especially if you're like me, I always forget my liners. So I'm just gonna shut up and line. This shade is sand dunes, so it's more like a brown neutral shade. I don't want a pink because I, I do have a lot of pink happening. I'm not sure about this color though. I think it's a little bit too brown, so I'm gonna add a bit of this Kaja Kashi vibe, and this is silk robe. Oh yeah, I think this will be better. So it's kind of like I'm gonna balance that brown out. I thought this was gonna be more of a, I don't know, like a gloss, but it's it's really pigmented too. So you could just wear this on its own. I just changed my mind. <laughs> oh, I can't decide on the lip. How do we feel about this lip? I'm trying to make it kind of less intense. All right, I'm gonna finish up my brows because I wanted to just pull them in a bit more. I'm gonna set them with this 24 hour brow set. Guys, I am not 100% sure on this lip because I love these lippies and they're like heart shaped. So I'm gonna try this one. It's a very, very natural color. So I'm just gonna switch it out. Let's see, because these I freaking love. But I really like like a natural lip. So, oh yeah, this is so pretty. All right, I'm gonna add a bit of shimmer. I feel like I'm adding too much. <laughs> and a bit here too, because oh, why not? All right, you guys, there we are. This is my two hour makeup look. This took a bit under two hours just because, I don't know guys, I'm too impatient and I try to rush through everything and I was really trying to take my time. I feel like somebody could for sure take two hours doing their makeup. I feel like that's perfectly normal, so I'm by far not judging anybody. I just try and get stuff done as fast as possible. I'm doing as best of a job as I can, but I don't know, this is what it turned out like. I love the look, I love the shadows, but also I wanted to do something more simple. So for sure, probably on the next video, you guys will see me like rocking something similar to this, but kind of like just like a solid pink with like solid shimmer that will look really cool too and it will take probably like way less time. Also, I don't know. I feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup that I didn't necessarily have to put on. What do you guys think? <laughs> I was just trying to fill in the time and be like, okay, put it all on more. Personally, I just feel like it depends. Sometimes you really do need a long time to get ready because you're doing like body makeup and like you want to do your hair, you want to do everything. But just to do like your face, two hours for me is a little bit long. But like I said, I'm really impatient. I can't really sit still, so I have a hard time doing it. I remember when I tried to recreate a look that Nikki Tutorials did, I was really struggling because there were so many steps to it. That look could easily take at least two hours and I totally get it. But I was like, Nikki girl, I can't. I mean, I am just not an artist like she is. So for me, I would say my ideal will probably be like 45 minutes. That's like, I would, I would feel like confident. I would feel like, I, I, I feel good with this. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Don't forget to tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any new video awesomeness. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.